Dear brothers and sisters, um, it's been uh, almost eight months since we met uh, and we had wonderful fellowship together and uh, uh, was well acquainted and uh, how you received us we will never forget it and uh, we our hearts are longing back to see you again and uh, to be with you but um, well, what has happened uh, the last six months is, uh, well, it's just beyond words. Uh, and we know that uh, you are affected in, uh, in so many ways with the floods and the lockdowns and everything. And, and it grieves our hearts to know how, how you are doing and we are praying for you and... Uh, and uh, help as much as we can uh, but first of all we want to to, um, to join you in par prayer and and uh, and uh, be together in the spirit this morning i um i received a message uh from the lord a prophetic message uh, that i wanted to share with you and uh, i just felt i would like to just to make a video um that makes it more personal and you can watch it and uh, and hopefully it will bring encouragement. Um, it's kind of related to what I was talking about uh, uh, when I visited you in the village. Um, and uh, I think I'll just read it. Uh, pray to God and, and uh, he, will, he will guide you. Uh, we are in uh, times like no other. And um, I believe that um, I don't think it will get any better. Uh, quite the contrary. I think things will grow even worse. And it's a part of God's judgment. But um, he, will, um, he will fill us with the Holy Spirit. And, and he will uh, really equip every one of us to endure and to... to to go forth in victory and uh, and with great anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit. So I hope that this message will encourage you. And uh, I hope that um, a little, little bit further down the road we will meet again. And we will work together and uh, we will uh, reap the harvest together. I'm quite confident that, uh, that they will come. I don't know when. I wish tomorrow, I wish next, next year, but uh, we don't know. We just have to pray, we have to be ready, and we have to work uh, where we are uh, diligently and, uh, and trust in the Lord in every which way. He will provide for us, He will provide for you, and uh, also supernaturally. I'm quite sure about that. So God bless you all. Uh, here's the message. My dearest ones, have I not told you that one more time I will shake not only the earth, but also the heavens, so that all that cannot be shaken shall remain? You have now been shaken for six months, but I say, these shakings is nothing compared to what I am about to release upon the earth. I will shake the earth so violently that no, one, that no man will be able to stand upon their feet. I will shake the governments who oppress you and I will shake the people into repentance. Be ready, my dearest ones, to share the gospel and bring in the harvest. Do not worry for what you shall eat. Go out two by two and preach that the kingdom of God is near and that Jesus is coming soon. Eat whatever they offer you and do not bring purse or knapsack. Find a person of peace and stay in their house. Do not move from house to house but stay there and heal the sick and cast out demons and share the good news about the gospel. Do not look to the west for help. Look at me, says the Lord. Let me be your provider in everything. 
and trust in me for everything you need. Now is the time to walk in great faith. Heal the deaf, dumb and blind and make the lame walk again. Cast out leprosy and raise the dead. Have I not told you that you shall perform even greater things than me? Now is the time to seek me on your knees. Come to me daily and let me minister to you and fill your hearts with an everlasting love. A love for me, for my word and for the lost people of India. Do not wait for the evangelists to come. No one will be able to travel for a long time yet. Why wait in vain when I have chosen you to go out and bear fruit? Do not be discouraged when you see all the calamities happening. Instead, look up to me because my redemption or because your redemption draws nigh. Be as the wise virgins and fill up your lamps with oil and stay awake, but do not think that I will lift you out of this world just yet. There is a lot more shakings to go through. And you must not fear those who persecute you. The devil is walking around like a roaring lion trying to find someone he may devour. Because he knows his time is short. You shall overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of your testimony. And love not your lives unto death. Do you trust me, my dearest ones? Are you willing to leave it all behind for the sake of the harvest? Do not sit idly by and wait for it to go over while well, the corona. It's not. It's only going to get worse. The world will be in shock, but not you, my dearest ones, because you have made me your everything. Put on the full armor of God and trust in me for everything you need. Fast and pray and consecrate yourselves for tomorrow I will do great wonders and miracles. This is the time all my prophets have been waiting for. And you are the chosen generation who will see it all come to pass. Do not despair but raise up the full armor of God and walk in great victory. Behold, I am with you all days until the end of this day, of this age. Your brother and savior, Jesus Christ. And I just feel the anointing of Jesus when I share it with you. And uh, I believe it's, it's a word from the Lord. It's, um, you just want to say, trust in me. I am with you every day. Do not look around, do not look at the waves. It's easy for me to say, but, but, but uh, uh, what you are experiencing will also come here and we have to trust the Lord in the same way. Uh, um, these judgments will go global. Everything will crumble. Every uh, tall building, everything. The world stock market, the global economy, everything will be completely toast. And we all have to endure through it together. But through all this, if we trust in him, he will provide for us. He will lead us. Uh, many of us will have to give our lives uh, for the sake of the gospel. Um, I am prepared to, for it. My family is prepared uh, to give their lives for him. Uh, we all are. And... Um, that's not important. Important is that Jesus is coming back soon and there is a great harvest to be reaped before he comes back and we will see uh, his spirit move in ways we never have seen before. So be brave, be courageous, be bold, share the gospel, heal the sick, cast out demons, uh, make the blind see and the lame walk and the leprosy, just cast it out. You have full authority over everything. Trust in him. He is with you. He, he led the people through the, through the desert for 40 years. Uh, their shoes didn't uh, 
go, grow old, everything was intact and he fed them every day. He will do that to you also. So this is um, from my heart and from my family. They all say hello. Uh, a greeting from Norway. I hope that we will see each other soon again and that we can work the harvest field together. Uh, I hope, I pray that it will come to pass. I don't know when, I don't know how. Maybe uh, God will send me there with Philip, Air Philip Airlines. <laughs> what do I know? So, but until then, uh, be encouraged and trust in Jesus. God bless you.